What's up guys, Sio here with another episode of the Pokemon Dynalogue. Uh, in the last episode, I was a complete idiot and forgot to record audio and killed Lickitung for no reason. Um, but luckily, we got Mysterio the Abra. Um, also, I tweaked the colors just a little bit because I realized I was able to do that. Um, sorry about the first couple episodes being grayscale, but now I at least have this cool little purple to match my layout, I guess. Uh, Shoutouts to my emulator being able to change Game Boy colors, which is kind of a cool little feature. Uh, so what am I doing here? Oh, I'm going up to Nugget Bridge. Uh, judging by the rival... Actually, I need to stop by the store really quick, because judging by the rival fight from last time, I am probably actually a little underleveled here. <clears throat> um, I at least want to get up to this grass up here and get a new encounter. Uh, maybe I'll grind up a little bit there. How many... <clears throat> how many potions do I have? Three... I'm gonna sell this HP up just because these minerals sell for a ton of money. Um... And I don't actually remember what TM9 is, but I'm gonna hold on to it for now. <clears throat> Sorry about that, I... I think I might have a cold, or I'm getting one. So, I'm gonna buy 10 repels. And... <clears throat> Let's just get the basic medication, I guess. Oops. Um, I guess I'm only buy two of these. And actually, I'm gonna buy like five awakenings because I'm not gonna get the Poke Flute for a while. So, um, actually, let's do this math evenly. Get it five. Okay, I think that should be good. Uh, let me check what this TM is really quick. Yeah, I will absolutely be selling takedown, because although it's a decent strength attack, I do not want any of my mods taking recoil. And that'll be a couple more Pokeballs, actually. Alright. <laughs> Sorry, in case you haven't noticed, I like to kind of just clear out my money when I have the opportunity to in locks like this, because sitting on money really does you no good. Um, unless you're, like, specifically saving up for something. So I kind of like this, uh, this, like, cool purple. Um, I couldn't actually figure out how to get it to play, like, Game Boy Colors, where it'll just, like, change palettes based on the area that I'm in. Who do I want to leave with? Um, I'll leave with Nessie. I need to start getting Lapras some new moves, because it and Slowbro both have some pretty not exceptional moves early on. <laughs> I'm trying to word it nicely. <clears throat> as much as I want to switch train Abra and get it in here, I don't think I'm going to be able to. I think I'm just going to have to take these guys on and then either switch train it at the start of next episode or maybe I can have time for a grinding montage in the middle of this one. Um, I'd like to just get all through all these trainers up here if I can in this episode, but I, I'm not exactly sure how long that's going to take. And I didn't really want to fast forward through any of this or put it in a grinding montage. You sing. The only person in the world to ever be excited for sing. Alright, so let's switch into Sigmund here. Like I... Like I should have done in the last episode. I'm not going to harp on it too much, because I feel like I was pretty negative in my commentary, but I am still disappointed in myself. Okay. <clears throat> so, I guess that actually wasn't awful. I 
I really need to start leveling Steve up. I don't... I might give him Toxic, to be honest, because I really just need to give him a move that isn't confusion. Like, if I just had a water move here, I would be able to body the Sand Shrew, but I don't even learn Water Gun until, like, level 30. Luckily, I have insane special and regular defense, so I'm like. The... Shoutouts to my computer dropping to 12 frames per second. Hold on. Okay. Okay, that should be fine. Um. <clears throat> I'm gonna stay in because I think all you're gonna really be able to do is lovely kiss me. I'm gonna disable in case you don't. Okay. So I kind of like having uh, one of. Or like the background palettes, or the background have a palette and then all the sprites in black and white. Kind of feels kind of cool to me. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Actually, um, I think this will be the last episode that I'm both recording before actually starting to upload them. Uh, what, am I gonna, what am I gonna do to you? I guess I'll switch into Nessie because I resist. If you have a nice move, I don't think you would, but. Sing him a song. Put him to sleep. Draw on their face. Oh, that's not doing jack shit. Okay. <laughs> you cannot stay in. <laughs> See, I just need to get Nessie Ice Beam or something, and unfortunately because I randomized TMs, I don't even know if I'm actually going to be able to get it when I normally would. Jinx is fast. It's good to know. Oh. That did nothing. Alright. And at least I speed tie. Um, I have no idea if that crit mattered. Okay, because I don't feel like running back at the start of the episode. Wake up. Okay, well, this is actually a decent matchup. Fury attacks normal, so it's okay, yeah. Hurry up, Pedro. Like, you weren't doing damage, you were just wasting time. And... speed up! I'm not gonna do that very often, but that multi-hit move was literally just wasting time. Alright, so you could very well have Thundershock, and like I've said a million fucking times, I still have no answer for an electric type. It's actually kind of scary because that's going to be doing a steady 20 damage. I don't know if I should. I'm going to try to hypnosis. Oh no, it didn't work. Okay, do less than 20, please. Okay, good. Yeah, this magneton is an issue. Stay asleep, please. Okay. Whew. Um. I'm actually going to take this opportunity to heal, in case it starts spamming Sonic Boom. There you go. So Magneton is definitely, uh, definitely my biggest issue here so far. Disables... Oh, well, that... <laughs> like of any move you could have disabled, tackle was the most worthless. Fuck. Paralyzed though. Um That's okay, I'm just gonna go for the confusion. Breakthrough. Alright, I need you to break through one more time. Good job, Sigmund. Good job. 
Okay. Oh, I forgot to need something else. Okay. Um... Just take this opportunity to... Confusion you to death, because I still don't have a fucking water move, because why would a slow bro have a water move? Right? Why wouldn't it just start off with a water gun? Like, I don't- I literally don't need anything besides a water gun on this thing for a while. It's not gonna do a ton of damage, but... Okay, so... Magmar actually has decent attack, so I'm gonna be paranoid and use a potion here, because the last time I tried to struggle kill something, it didn't actually go very well for me. Okay, so... He's doing six. I'll speed this up a little bit. Confusion. He should die after the next struggle with confusion. Okay, good. Okay. So this is going fairly quickly. You sure look like a gentleman kid with your arms crossed. I'm gonna run back and heal because it's the halfway point. I didn't want to heal after every trainer, but I also don't want to use all the items I just bought, just because I don't want to run back here. So I kind of like this uh, color scheme, actually. It goes well with uh, goes well with the layout that I have. Um, but again, let me know in the comments if you guys like it, because it's kind of <laughs> it's more important that you guys like it than me liking it. Um, I just feel like this color scheme, or having a consistent color scheme that's not just black and white, I guess, um, isn't very common in Gen 1 games. And, I don't know. I was getting tired until I ran back to the Pokemon Center. Haha! <laughs> Eat that, lazy. Caterpie with angry unibrow. Quick, Steve, body it. Oh no, you're slower. Headbutt this. Time. Show who's boss. Assert your dominance, Steve. Good job. <clears throat> so he's getting levels, and he takes hits really well. He's just, uh... He's just not learning anything, because he's fully evolved. Um, I guess I just go into Sigmund here and confusion it. So I actually forgot until I was watching another Let's Play, but... Oh, this is actually going to do a decent amount of damage. Please kill. Um, but I forgot that Acid is actually the strongest... Uh, oh, no, you are not staying in on a defense lowered wrap like that. I forgot that acid is actually the strongest like er poison type move in this game. Come on. Drill pack. And especially since he got the defense drop, I was not about to stay in with Sigmund and take a ridiculous amount of damage. Um so the party's actually getting up there in levels now. That's nice. Also I'm not running back to the Pokemon Center again. So, I'm actually going to get Nessie up in front, because now Nessie's the one that's fallen behind in my main party. Alright, so I got two more trainers and then I can get another encounter. Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure this is its own round. Oh, a cadaver. Go to sleep, please. That's gonna do a lot. Okay, um... Sigmund should resist, because I think Psychic resists Psychic. Okay, you keep teleporting. Don't disable hypnosis. Okay, good. I was actually gonna go for disable, so it's a good thing he just disabled disable. Um... Since Kadabra's defense is as garbage as it is, I'm just gonna pound it to death, hopefully. 
I feel like that's doing more than a confusion would do. So... Okay, good. That's a solid 3. Okay, I'm alright with that. Good job, Sigmund. So I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually, uh... <laughs> I'm kinda liking this hip now. I kinda, like, begrudgingly took it in the beginning of the game, but... It's... It's been a very good early game on, at least. Um... Are you at least close to level 17? Like, your stats are so good, but your moves that is such garbage. Like, do I want to... I can give it thunder. But do I want to? I feel like I should- I'm gonna save it and see what I get in the grass up here. Um, if what I get in the grass up here can learn Thunder, I'm probably gonna teach it to Nessie. Oh cool, that's still a nugget. For some reason I kind of just assumed that that was gonna be, um, something else. I could have probably read that guy, uh, cause I guess he's kind of an important character. Artist. Hey, Hypno! So I know that Hypnos are an issue, Sing doesn't land, that's unfortunate, and Water Gun is disabled, so I have no attack now. Wonderful! So what do I do against another Hypno? I guess I switch into Tweety and just try to do damage to it. Oh. So I'm actually just going to try to fight this like, the old-fashioned way rather than use an Awakening, because I feel like if I use an Awakening, he's just going to immediately use Hypnosis. I hope I don't regret that decision, but... Okay, so I'm actually trying to use Troll Peck anyway, so I don't necessarily mind the Thundershock was the one that was disabled. <sighs> Wake your ass up, bird! Come on! It's five turns. Six turns. Six turns sleep. Absolutely fucking ridiculous. And then I become confused. Hit this damn thing. Good. Do damage. Good job, Tweety. It's because I believed in you. Um, I actually don't remember if you're a poison type yet, so just kill this thing too. That's what I imagine drum pet sounding like. Okay, so. Route 24 absolutely is a new route. Um, I don't know what I'm going to run into into this grass, so I'm going to use a potion real quick. I guess I'm going to have to be at full health, so if worst comes to worst here. Alright, so let's see what we can catch here. Alright, so our... Oh! Forgot about this trainer! <laughs> Like, as soon as I stepped forward, I was like, wait, there's a trainer here, isn't there? And I just had no time. Um... I could just switch into Tweety and Thundershock, but I'm trying to not just spam the Zapdos here. I'm gonna pound them, because I'm pretty sure Starmie's more for Psychic. That's not doing shit though. Confusion might still do more. Confusion's not doing more. So I'm just gonna kill it. Okay. 
I've actually kind of always wanted to use a Star You and Star Me. I've always liked the design, and they've always seemed like cool Pokemon, but I've just never really uh, got to use one for some reason. Alright, I need to switch Nessie in here, because Nessie absolutely needs a move. I'm getting pumped to not crit me ever. No, no, crit growl. Okay. Can you get a move? I know mean, you just got this thing not too long ago, so you're probably not gonna get a move for a while, actually. Um, maybe even like Aurora Beam would be cool. Alright, I don't really need to heal again. So, our Route 24 encounter. He is. I thought there was an item down here, I wouldn't have walked this far. A nine tails. Okay. Um, I was saying that I needed a fire type, so that's cool. Your special is insane. So what I think I'm gonna do is switch into Steve since I resist, and then I can hit you with a confusion that I probably won't do very much. Ooh, and you have priority. Oh, a burn. That's unfortunate. Um, better have burn heal. I'm just gonna go ahead and heal that off before that residual damage becomes annoying. Um, really? <laughs> Uh, I feel like I'm gonna get burned again. <laughs> no! Son of a bitch. <sighs> Damn it. I was actually looking forward to that in my tails. I don't want to see what else I could have caught in here. An Aerodactyl? That would have been cool. <sighs> Man. Don't make it harder for me to run. <laughs> Please don't make me actually have to fight you. I'm gonna have to actually fight you. Okay. Um, let's hope you don't have a rock type move. Pretty sure I'm gonna swing attack. Okay, so. Um, if you don't know, um, Pokemon battles in Gen 1, if you're able to run away from them, are determined on, like, probability based on how fast you are, compared to the- oh, Jesus Christ, any encounter in here would have been cool. I'm just gonna body this thing, though, because I feel like I'm not gonna be able to run from a Raichu. So that's disappointing that I missed out on an, an encounter. I forgot that Ninetales got Roar. TM14. What is TM14? Blizzard? Oh, thank fucking god. It's a move for Lapras. Uh, make sure I'm teaching it to Nessie, and Nessie loves Blizzard. And I'm pretty sure in Gen 1, Blizzard is like ridiculously fucking OP because it has like 90 accuracy or something. Oh, thank fucking god. Um, I'm gonna run back really quick. I'm just gonna cut it and heal really quick. Alright, we're back. Um, is this a new route? Route 25? Pretty sure the other route was Route 24. Do I get another new encounter? Oh my god, please say I get another new encounter. Fuck yeah, okay. Um, I actually completely forgot that that was new grass up here. Um, can I get to you without having to battle a trainer? I can. Alright, so our Route 25 encounter, that hopefully is not just gonna run away, is going to be 
a Bellsprout, which I'm actually very happy with. Um, I needed a Grass type, I needed something that would be able to take Electric Hits, and Weepin' Bow is awesome. Um, <sighs> problem is, how am I going to get you? I don't think I'm going to be able to hit this thing. So, I'm going to disable and maybe let it struggle itself down. After I hypnosis it. That seems like an alright strategy, I guess. I feel like I shouldn't really have that much trouble catching a bell sprout. I have 27 double balls. In case you haven't noticed, um, I really want to make sure I'm able to like catch things as I run into them, so I buy Pokeballs more than like any other item. Um, I know it's a little more exciting in Nuzlocke, I guess, when you don't have... I'm gonna need to hit you with something. Um, who's my weakest attacker right now? I think it's Hitman, actually. 36... 36. I could actually come in with Lapras and hit you with a water gun. Since Vine Whip's disabled, that's what I'm gonna do. Oh, and that suddenly became terrifying. I am now immediately back the fuck out. Um, oops. Oops. I meant to hit stats, not switch. Oh my god, no! Okay. So that did... 16? Am I doing my math right? No, I'm not. 17. So 34 would be a crit. I need to hit this with the head button switch out. Fuck! God damn it, Steve. <laughs> Your slow ass finally crit something. <sighs> okay. Um. Now we're gonna do all these trainers. All right, I'm gonna try to get through as many of these as I can. I'm gonna try to kind of barrel through this, I guess. I don't want to do this super fast, but I also don't want to be here all day fighting trainers. <sighs> I really thought Headbutt with Steve was going to be the best option there, because then I could have just- Oh, do not taunt me with this bullshit. No. Not today. Blizzard this fool. Kill it. Kill it dead. Good job. Nessie is now officially a monster, by the way. And not just a pocket monster. Hey -o. That was tough. <laughs> Yeah, you know, looks pretty cool with uh, with this color scheme that I have in my game. I love the random trainer names for some of these guys, like Nurse on the big hiker. All right, uh, so I'm actually probably just gonna try to fight like <laughs> now that I've fought these two guys. I'm probably just gonna try to fight the more like mandatory-ish trainers on here, and then I'll come back up here uh, once I'm grinding Abra up and stuff. Um, I don't want to be too much higher level than I am now, because I'm pretty sure Misty's ace is level 21, um, so I'll probably just try to get everyone around level 20. Um, that seems like a decent plan, man. You know what would have been good here is a fucking bell sprout. I'm just so disappointed. Like, I'm probably the only person that was like super excited to see bell sprout there, but bell sprout would have actually fixed a lot of holes that I have in my team currently. Okay, so Sigmund's actually gonna have to take a back seat here for a bit. Because I just said that I didn't want to get anyone too far above level 20. Um, I may have to do a thing where I don't really use a... <clears throat> where 
where I don't really use them on in the gym battle. Because I'm already kind of getting close to the levels that I wanted to be at. Body this thing. I'm gonna crit now if you want to. No. No useful crits, just crits when it kills my encounter. I've been unfortunately missing a lot of encounters lately. Oh fuck, what are you gonna do to me? Scyther is scary. Scyther has a lot of attack. That's okay. So, I think what's going to end up happening is I'm going to do a grinding montage, and then I think I'm going to start the next episode with Misty. Um, so I want that item that's up there before I get cut, so I'm going to pull this guy down and walk behind him and get the item. Um, I think I have four. Fuck. Get your ass in here. Zip zap. So I'm probably gonna end up teaching Tweety Thunder after all. Um, I was thinking about it, and even though I have Thunder Shock, I obviously need something a little bit stronger, like for when I'm fighting a Vaporeon. Um, I don't appreciate this Vaporeon lowering my accuracy so much, but I'm not about to switch out in anything else because nothing else can really hit it. Good job, Tweety. I don't care about no accuracy drops. Um, can you hit a drill pack? You can't hit a drill pack. Well, is this, why did I even question that? Here's after so You can do whatever the fuck you want. I don't have the opportunity to switch out into somebody else. Somebody else is gonna be messy. So, I may actually have to hold off, now that I'm looking at my party, I may have to hold off on grinding until after Misty, which seems really weird, but if I'm already like level 18, or like my lowest of my main party is level 18 and everyone else is already level 20, I don't know if I'm really going to be able to get Mysterio up to fighting order anyway. Gong 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 gong. Sing the song. I wonder if... I wonder if Sing and Hypnosis have higher accuracy in... I don't think they have higher accuracy in Gen 1. That wouldn't really make very much sense. Okay, so you are doing nothing to do wrong, so just switch into the infant have a nice type move. Okay. Actually, can I I might have time to do Misty in this episode, actually. Um, don't make me eat those words, trainer, but I'm a cool guy. I've got a girlfriend. I've got a girlfriend too, buddy. I live with her. I wouldn't, <laughs> wouldn't really call myself cool though, so... <laughs> love logic. <sighs> See, I don't want to keep using Zapdos this much, but when it's the only thing that can hit stuff super effective, it's kind of hard to not just switch into it and Thundershock it and kill it. Supposed to thunder shock and kill it. Okay. Um. Steve's need to help a little bit more. Yeah, I. I like don't really want to actually grind too much because I'm like 
99% sure Misty's ace is like level 21. Uh, I totally forgot that I didn't have a water move on him, but that's okay. Um, it looks like Confusion's a two-shot. That's okay, good. Item behind you, good one. TM4. Whirlwind. Um. I might teach that to Tweety, actually, because if stuff starts getting hairy and I need to phase stuff, uh, that might not be a bad idea. Um. He's probably good up in the front, but I kind of want Nessie to just get up to level 20 now. Already. <sighs> so yeah, thinking about it, I guess this is just going to be a little bit longer of an episode, because it doesn't really make sense to start the next episode with Misty, in my opinion. So what I'll probably end up doing is I'll do a really quick grinding montage if I even need to, and just get uh, just get Steve up to level 20 really quick. If Nessie doesn't hit level 20 here, I think Nessie's gonna hit level 20 in this fight. I'm hoping. Whew. Now that Nessie has a good ice type move, uh, she's kind of a monster. I'm really starting to... I mean, I've always liked Lapras, like, even in the Gen 1 days before Ash started riding around on it in the Orange Islands, but... Damn. Alright, um... Hi, I'm a Pokemon. No, I'm not. Call me Bill. I'm a true blue Pokemaniac. Hey, what's with that skeptical look? I'm not joshing around. I screwed up an experiment and got combined with a Pokemon. So, how about it? Help me out here. No. No? Come on, you gotta help a guy in deep trouble. What do you say, Chief? Please? Okay, alright. I didn't say yes. <laughs> okay. When I go to my teleport, run to my PC and run the cell separation system. I said no. But, I guess to continue the story. Oh. You actually just popped right back out. Oops. <laughs> I was kind of hoping you were just gonna stay in there. Um tell you what, I'll be a nice guy and actually help you out. Go to my PC and run the cell separation system. And don't leave this time. Look at me initiating stuff. Shoutouts to that computer, by the way. Uh, that's how I used to play computer games with this, like, box of a monitor that had terrible quality. Yeehaw! Thanks, bud. I owe you one. So did you come to see my Pokemon collection? You didn't? That's a bummer. Gotta thank you. Oh here, maybe this will do. I got an SS ticket. Cruise ship, SS San is from in Vermilion City. Its passengers are all trainers. They invited me to their party, but I can't stand fancy dudes. Why don't you go instead of me? Um, I will go later. Uh so I'm pretty sure Misty's back now. Um I might not even really need a grinding montage, to be perfectly honest, uh, but if I do, I probably just am gonna come back up here and fight these trainers that I didn't need to fight, um, and just get everyone up around level 20. I really hope I'm not remembering wrong. I'm gonna fight this trainer in Misty's gym to see if I'm, like, appropriately leveled. Actually, I'm gonna heal up. I'm gonna get some potions really quick and stuff, and then I'm gonna hop in the gym. I do want to get Mysterio up to speed, though, because I need something that's fast and can hit pretty hard. Um, unfortunately, it's gonna be, like, yet another mod with confusion as its, like, main, ma like, mode of attacking, but... I think I'm actually gonna keep Whirlwind and put it on uh, Zapdos. It may seem kind of weird, but I just... If I have a feeling that something's about to be setting up on me in the future, I might need to do that. And I guess I'll 
guess I'll just buy another 10 repels and save the rest of the money. I don't really need anything else right now. <clears throat> Alright, yeah, so I guess today is just gonna be a little bit longer of an episode, but I hope you guys don't mind. Um, I am gonna teach... Alright, so I think I'm gonna teach Thunder to Zapdos. I'm gonna teach... Toxic to Slowking, or Slowbro. Cause he... I need to start having some diversity in the team. And I'm gonna teach Whirlwind to Zapdos, since I think it's the only thing I can learn in any way. Okay, so feeling pretty confident about this team, but let's check out this swimmer. Splash! I just like that he says splash. <laughs> like I know it's actually not hidden. The Artisan Clefable. Okay, so these trainers are level 16, so I think I was right. So I'll probably just fight the trainers that are in here, and then fight Misty. Oh, not having this bullshit, no, 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 oh no, whoop, let's see how random the game wants to be right now, this is awful though. Okay, I believe it. Plus two evasion. Please hit a toxic. Oh, you, of course you're gonna hit a sing before I can hit a toxic, though. I am gonna use an awakening, because I cannot have this thing just fucking, like... Set up evasion on livery. And I mean, I guess it's a good thing, of course, comes to worst to put Whirlwind on that does. Did that... Go for a toxic bit, please. Fuck. Don't do something bad. I don't know what this is. Oh, good. <clears throat> toxic and Haze have the same animation. That's funny. Uh, so Haze actually ended up 100% saving me because I'm pretty sure that undid his. Uh, I'm pretty sure that one did his evasion, and I need to disable and minimize. There you go. Good job, Steve. Skull Bash. Um, I mean, you have, my high, you have the highest defense in the party anyway. I guess I'm just gonna use a potion here. I don't think Skull Bash is gonna do that much, but. I think Toxic is taking you out anyway. Oh, Jesus Christ, good thing I potion. <laughs> um, actually, I don't think Toxic is going to take you out, so I'll just continue. Don't do anything terrible. Vice grip. Okay. Oh, damn it. I should have just healed. Alright, so that Clefable was kind of scary, but... I can probably just take you out with a confusion, but I don't feel comfortable being at that low health. You're just gonna erase any chance of getting a crit though, so that's perfectly fine. And sped up. Okay, so I wasn't gonna one shot. Hopefully that doesn't get annoying, but I just don't really have time to sit here watching Fury Attack over and over again. I got $80 from that trainer, are you kidding? Like, I understand that you don't really have money, because... You know, you're just... You're broke and you're swimming, but... Um... I'm actually gonna lead with Slowbro in this fight, just try to get it to level 20. I guess this is the only trainer I actually had to fight in this gym, but that's okay. And you haven't jumped off! I 
switched out the mom of Blizzard, so just gonna admit that I made that mistake and switched back, and it looks like I'm pretty much perfectly on par. Um, if this trainer's single mon is 19, then that probably means I was right, and it's 19 and 21, I think, like I thought it was. Um, that crit did not matter. Um, so I'm gonna run back and heal, just so I don't have to use any items, and we will take on Misty. That's pretty exciting, actually. I didn't think I was gonna be able to do that just straight off, but I feel comfortable with the uh, four that I have. And then Abra in the back. So very hopefully, uh... <coughs> Alright, we're taking on Misty. And, uh... Yeah, I'm a little nervous. I guess I should probably try to lead with... I'm gonna lead with Sigmund. Tweety's probably my safest lead, but I'm gonna lead with Sigmund. Ha, you're a new face. Trainers who want to turn pro have to have a policy about Pokemon. What is your approach when you catch Pokemon? My policy is an all-out offensive with water-type Pokemon. I used to be a smoker. I don't know why I gave Misty that voice, but oh well, because her name's actually Wayne. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, just confusion this thing to death. Oh. Okay, um... I... I apparently was so scarred by my Brock fight that I was, like, terrified of the boss, of the boss, of the gym leader, but, um, was literally just able to solo it with Sigmund. Cool. Um, that was uneventful, I guess. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Sorry, that was my, uh, Futurama trucker, apparently. You're too much. All right. You can have the Cascade Badge to show you beat me. Find me some money. The Cascade Badge makes all Pokemon up to level 30 obey, including outsiders. There's more. You can now use Cut anytime. You can cut small bushes to open paths. And I get TM11. I don't know what TM11 is. Bubble Beam. Is it actually Bubble Beam? It's actually a little game. Um, that's actually not the worst thing in the world, though, because Steve desperately, desperately needs Stab. And he will get rid of Headbutt? Alright, and we'll be right back as I edit the layout. <clears throat> Alright, uh, we got that badge. Uh, Misty was a little bit easier than Brock, to say the least. Um, Alright, so I guess I'm going to heal up here. Um, in between episodes, I'm going to do a little bit of grinding just to get Mysterio at least, like, usable. Uh, now that I beat Misty, I don't really feel bad getting up to level 20. And if I go a little higher, so be it. Um, I just didn't want to be overleveled for the gym, because really there's nothing less exciting in a Let's Play, in my opinion, than going to a gym super overleveled. Um, it's always a little bit more fun when there's a little drama attached. Uh, so, before I go in here and start the whole dig thing, um, I'm just going to end the episode here, uh, since my timer's going off to get ready for work anyway. Uh, so if you guys like this episode, please drop a like, uh, comment if you want, subscribe if you like it that much. Uh, thank you for coming by, uh, and yeah, we be Misty. Cool. Uh, see you guys next time. Bye.